Hey guys, Ronnie Chavez here and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on both the running gainer and the standing gainer. Now before learning this trick, make sure you have a solid standing back flip. I know that's a prerequisite for a lot of tricks, but especially this one, this one's a little bit more dangerous. So make sure you have your solid back flip and you're in a safe environment like a gymnastics gym because there's a lot more risk with hitting your head on the corner of the ledge you might be flipping from. So make sure you're confident and safe with where you're learning. So with that in mind, let's get started. So first things first, let's start with the standing gainer because that's gonna be most similar to your standing back flip that you've learned. So basically when doing a gainer, the most important thing is that you're still getting up and you're getting set just like your back flip. The second most important thing is that you're getting away from the wall. As you get confident with the gainer, you can adjust that to jumping out further and staying closer to the wall. But ultimately, you want to make sure you have this nice angle going up and out as you do this trick. So basically, the way I think about this is that I'm going to be throwing a backflip, but instead of setting back like I normally would because that's going to send me backwards, I'm going to be setting forward. So I'm almost going to be setting like I'm going to jump forward into a precision jump. So as I'm setting, I'm gonna jump forward, kind of be falling forward slightly, but as I get that initial push forward, I immediately get my set back up again to make sure that I'm still getting the proper technique to get high and get the flip around. So another way I like to think about it is that I'm looking for a spot on the ground to jump to, and that's what I'm gonna be looking at, at my, for my initial takeoff, but then once I'm leaving the ground, is when I go into the set and the backflip. And even for now, you can just look at that spot and practice almost fake backflip technique, but jumping forward with it. Just so you make sure you get that feeling of jumping forward. Because what can happen without having practiced a lot of gainers, your body will mix up gainer with backflip. And so even though you're thinking about going forward, your body's muscle memory will naturally want to go backwards. So you really want to make sure you exaggerate that jumping forward before fully setting back so that you don't actually go backwards on accident. So starting with your toes, always remember with any flip, you're jumping from your toes. You're not jumping from your heels. You're gonna be exploding here because generally you're not gonna be bending your knees that much. All of the power and explosive energy comes from the angle that you're um, leaning as well as the set of your body. So if you're squatted over too much, you're gonna be a lot closer to the wall you're taking off of. But if you're taller as you take off, then you'll be up and away from the wall as you do it. But before actually doing it off of a ledge, if you have your standing back flip, it's good to practice it in a standing position, even if it's just standing and landing in the same spot, because doing a back flip and landing in the exact same spot is actually a similar feeling to doing a gainer, only you're going to exaggerate it a little bit more so you drift forward more. So what I would just suggest is that you start off just practicing your back flip landing in place and then slowly inching your way forward and seeing how far forward you can get. If you can land straight up and getting a few inches ahead of yourself, then with the ledge it's gonna be pretty easy to jump out and get all the way around. Also make sure that you aren't jumping too far forward and that you're not leaning too far forward as you go into it because once you go too far forward, it's gonna be a lot harder to get the height you need to get the rotation. And unless you're doing it off of a really high drop, you're probably not gonna make it around. So now onto the running gainer. The running gainer, for me personally, is a little bit more difficult than the standing gainer, only because you're not gonna get as much power in your jump. And I'm used to, I learned all of these tricks on flat ground first, and so the running gainer on flat ground is harder to do because you're not gonna have as much height. For some people with height, it's actually easier because you don't have to worry about hitting your head as much because of that momentum you have, and you have more height to get your flip all the way around. But if you're doing it on flat ground, it's a little bit more difficult and it's a little bit more risky with misstepping your foot placement. So that's the most important thing when beginning this trick is that you have a solid foot placement running into it because if your foot misses, bad news. So when doing the running gainer and taking off, it's actually gonna be a little bit similar to the cheat gainer, only instead of doing that out of like a J step or off to the side, you're actually driving this knee straight up in front of you. And so you're running forward, and because you have all this forward momentum, you don't really need to worry about jumping super far forward. 
primarily you still need to focus on driving your body up so you can get the height to get around. Make sure you're not leaning too much as you leaning back too much as you take off because that can still cause you to whip too fast and hit your head on your takeoff. So make sure that you're still jumping up and then you're gonna drive this knee up to your chest and then pull everything into the tuck and you're gonna do everything from there just like you would normal backflip technique only you're taking off from one leg and you're driving your other leg and when jumping off that one leg make sure you're not bending down low and trying to jump you still want to keep it powerful and high and tall so all together it'll look something like this so the last thing to know about your landing of the gainer is that there are two opposing forces happening here. One, you have your forward momentum and you have your momentum flipping this way. So that doubles the potential impact you have into the ground. So if you're slightly under rotating with a lot of forward momentum, it's gonna feel like a lot of impact. So make sure you're prepared for the landing, whether you have a soft pad down and that you're also ready to roll out of it because often when these tricks are under rotated, your only option is to roll. Otherwise, you're just gonna face plant or just awkwardly belly flop. And so just make sure that you're popping up and getting the height you need to make it all the way around so that you're not hitting that hard impact. Ideally, you're getting the tuck in and able to open up to spot your landing so that you can land it cleanly and not low to the ground with all of that impact. So that's how you do your basic running gainer and standing gainer. The dynamics are gonna change on the different levels you're doing it on. If you're doing it higher, then it means you can jump out more and have more height to get your body around if you're trying to clear gaps or things like that. If it's lower, then you wanna make sure you're getting up, which means you're also gonna be landing a little bit closer to what you're taking off of. But once you have control of this trick, then you'll get comfortable with it and know where you are in the air every time you jump. And that's just what it's all about, is repetition and practice, because the more you practice, the more comfortable you'll get with the trick, and the more familiar you will be with this. So thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more parkour and free running videos. Thanks for watching.